Hai hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone uh, Welcome back to the Trimbo channel I'm Zakia Davani Putri And my friend Hello everyone This one is Nawang Sari Gemelar Ningsi Do call me Nawang So today we will share about ELT English Literature Teaching Precisely We will share about how to teach English speaking skill using a poem. So, first we will talk about speaking skill. Talking about speaking skill, when you learn a language, speaking is the most important skill among the, the other skill. So, according to Chesta in 2004, speaking is a productive skill since it produces ideas, messages, and suggestions, and we need to practice it to increase the skill in communicating in English. It is not enough in the classroom, but practice outside of the classroom. It will be is the meaning of poem the word poem comes from the Greek word poema which was an early variant of poema meaning fiction poem originally from poem meaning to create a poem is a piece of in which the words are chosen for their beauty and sound and are carefully often in short lines which rhyme So, here are the parts of poem. There are four parts of poem. First, voice or speaker. The speaker in a poem which could be the poet or a character of po- the poet created. Second, line. It is a single line of text from left to right or a single row of words in poem. Third, stanza. Stanza is a group of lines separated by a space. Fourth, rhyme, rhyme, scheme. I mean, rhyme scheme is a pattern of rhymes within the poem. This is the example of poem and the analysis uh, based on the part of poem. This is three important tools in poem. First, imagery. Imagery is language that represents sensory experience and in turn simulates the sense of the reader or listener. And types of imagery such as sight, sound, smell, taste, touch, and more internal sensations such as a younger of or movement in the joints. The second is comparison. Comparison is phrases and figures of speech that mean something other than what the words actually said. Uh, or in other words, we call it figurative language. Such as simile, a comparison that use like or as. 
or metaphor, a more direct comparison that doesn't use like or as. And the third is music. Music is its capacity to rouse pleasure and stir emotions with its music. So how to teach speaking skill using poem? There are poem telling discussion, also known as PTD. There is also making a poem, and there is a rhyming words and another one guessing poem game. First, poem telling discussion or PTT. In this strategy, the teacher will tell a poem or read it in front of the class. After that, they will let the student to discuss, ask, or answer the questions which related to the poem, such as What is the speaker in that poem? Or what are the figurative language in that poem? Or I don't know, etc. According to an article in teachingenglish.com, we can use a poem called The Goal, created by Jack Perlutsky, as a way to introduce a Halloween lesson. We can make a gap filled by the taking out the rhyming word. So here's the example of poem that can be used by the teacher in PTD teaching methods. Second, making a poem. In this strategy, the teachers will ask the students to make a poem. They are free to make their own poem without being confused by the rules of poem. Let's just say that they are to make their own free, free first poem. Let their imagi imagination move freely. First, the teacher will give a time to the students to get the atmosphere or the inspiration to write the poem which is by letting them out of class when the time's up yes you give them a time limit they will have to go back to the class and they will take turn to tell their poem or read it in front of the class then the teacher and the and students will do something important which called listen and feed after each poem was read the master will will pick us will pick on students to comment of the work with sportive non hypocritical and no negative comments the third method is rhyming words in this strategy, some poems lend the students well to looking at pronunciation. Whether the teacher wants to focus on individual sounds, rhyming pairs, connected speech or intonation patterns, poems can be a great way into it. Getting students to read out chunks of a poem as they copy the way the teacher says. So, it can be excellent practice for their pronunciation. And here's the example of poem that can be used by the teacher in rhyming words method. This poem will help to improve the student's pronunciation. The next method is guessing poem game. Guessing poem game is a game to guess the answer of the question which will be given based on the exist poem. The question will be provided by the teacher. This game 
will increase students' competitive spirit and make them more concentrated on some topic in a fun way. Here are the steps have to do with casting poem kim. First, the teacher provides some short simple poems. The second, the teacher will divide the students into some groups, two until four groups. Each group must appoint one person to be a poem reader. And then the teacher will give the keyword to be cast by the students. Next, a poem reader will take turn to tell the poem in front of the class. So all the students are asked to pay attention while the poem reader read the poem. After the poem was finished, all the students except the poem reader can answer or guess the answer of the keyword based on that poem. And and the winner of this game is a group who have the highest score in guessing or answer the keyword based on that poem. All right, everyone. This the summary of this of today's presentation is that speaking is a productive skill since it produces ideas, messages, and suggestion. And we need to practice it as often as possible. A poem is a piece of in which the words are chosen for their beauty and sound and are carefully, often in short lines which rain. There are four parts of poem, voice or speaker, line, stanza, and rhyme same. Three important tools in poem are imaginary, comparison, figurative language, and music. The four teaching models that can be used for teaching speaking skill are poem telling discussion, making a poem, rhyming words, and guessing games. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. See you next time. Bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.